Hello and welcome to Storytime. My name's Rachel and today we're going to be reading Fair Shares, written by Pippa Godhart, illustrated by Anna Doherty and published by Tiny Owl Publishing. Ooh, a pear tree full of fruit, said Hare. I'd like to eat one of those pears. Boing, boing, Hare leapt up, but... Bother, said Hare. Aha, said Bear. I see lots of pears for me. I'll be able to reach them easily. But actually, she couldn't reach the pears either. Bother, said Bear. Bear, said Hare. I know how to reach the pears. How, said Bear. Well, we haven't got any steps or stairs, but we could stand on chairs. I'll share them out, said Hare. One chair for me, one chair for you, Bear. Another chair for me. The end. Oi, said Bear. You've got twice as many chairs as I have, said Bear. That's not fair. Oh, sorry, said Hare. Okay, we can have one chair each and I'll leave the spare chair over there. Yes, that'll be fair, said Bear. But I still can't reach a pair. This doesn't feel fair at all, said Hare. Pick, went Bear. Scrunch, munch. Delicious, said Bear. Uh, excuse me, said a tiny voice. Who said that, said Bear. Me, said Beetle down below. I just thought that you should know giving everybody the same thing isn't always fair. Isn't it, said Bear. No, said Beetle. Let me show you. Hare needs two chairs to reach the pears, but you, Bear, only need one. That's true, said Hare. So it is fair for Bear to have one chair and for me to have two. Woohoo! So everyone was happy until... Uh-oh, said Bear. This still isn't fair. You haven't got any chairs or pears, Beetle. Would you like a pear? No, thank you, said Beetle. I don't like pears. Oh, said Hare. What do you like to eat then? Chairs. And that is the end of today's story. Thank you very much for listening and we'll see you for another story tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.